Hello, boys and girls. My name is Spider-Man. Uh, just kidding. I'm Hotsis T in the Spider-Tron. And welcome back to Factorium. And today, in the second last episode of this series, we are raising the bar. Uh, we are focusing on getting as much uh, science packs produced as possible. And currently the bar is at around 500 with the chemical signs we have two factories for that. Everything else is way below. So we need to fix that and we will begin with the ones that the worst performers. But in order to uh, add new factories, especially for uh, yellow, purple, and uh, uh, space science, we need loads of uh, modules. So that's why I went ahead and added one, two, more speed module factories and also uh, I could also label that properly um, that's a speed module uh, and one production module so before we can think of adding any more factories uh, we have to make sure that we can properly properly supply those with uh, beacons and modules that's why we have uh, three new factories four modules and more on the topic uh, we also have a, a new uh, space science uh, factory up here. Uh, I also added uh, the uh, chemical science, the second chemical science. That's the reason why we are up to 500 per minute uh, and another uh, utility science over here as well as various factories, uh, mines and also keeping up with uh, our power demand uh, over here um, so we are all looking good i also went a bit around uh, and made sure that our pollution cloud is not really touching on any any nests i mean those here they would probably attack those so there we are well defended but here on this side not so well but um, luckily uh, this is a bit before the next episode has to go out so I can spend a bit of uh, AFK time here to collect myself a few modules so we can then actually go about and add more factories for our sites. All right, we should have quite a bit of uh, modules stockpiled so we can expand. And while I have been waiting, I also have been busy. So if we look at the map, we have one more power plant. Um, we have copper field back there. We have an iron field down here, uh, completed with, uh, with a wall around it. Um, we have another iron patch down here, complete with uh, a powerful landfill production. Um, and then here we have yet another copper field. So. I wanted to make sure that if we expand, 
we do not immediately run into trouble with not enough materials to supply the new factories. And if we look here at our um, research facilities, we can see the only thing we really lack, which basically blocks the, the research, is here the purple signs. And if we have a look at uh, the, the numbers, we can see from space science, we have in the meantime stockpiled uh, the, the most of, and everything else is also at a max, save the yellow science. Uh, and we can see the train here is, is also away, is, is not waiting. If we look at production, we can see there are occasionally these peaks when all the science packs are available, then uh, they will be used to do research and that's really fast. So they are consumed quite fast. So that's why we have these peaks. And if we look at the production, we see uh, space science uh, is quite high. I have seen this go up to uh, to 400. So that's almost there uh, at the 500, which is our next goal. But I think we first have to deal with, with purple science. Um, We probably should triple that up. That would bring us over 300. Um, and then maybe yellow also uh, three more facilities. And then we probably have a bit of a, of a shift and uh, need to re-evaluate our situation again. So we have purple here, here and here, yellow there, 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 and another one down here. So I'm thinking we will expand a bit in, in this direction, fill in these gaps um, uh, to basically spread out here a bit from, from the middle um, and then we will see how this this goes once these uh what did i say double up on purple so that's three factories and then two more for uh, for yellow uh that's that's five factories in total and maybe we also need another power plant to uh compensate for the power hunger of our bases and hopefully at this point we will not find any troubles with lack of resources uh, while i added the new fields i did not really add that many new trains to it because uh, it seemed we have enough trains in the system uh, there were just not enough uh, loading stations for the ores. But I will put down these five factories and then we can we can see where we stand once again. The base is growing and hopefully it has a positive effect on our output. Uh, from the stations I can see we are supplied here uh, I added a few more trains where where it was needed but you want to hold off a bit when you place down a new factory because uh, just because there is no immediate uh, train uh, supplying does not mean there are not enough trains uh, because it, it does have to, to even out a bit. But let's have a look at the production and I have only highlighted here the yellow and the purple one. 
this is the yellow and there we can see a nice step up uh, when we added a new factory so we went from uh, what, 250 to 40 to 340 so 100 plus unfortunately here for the uh, purple signs we do not see the same effect uh, here we had a clear increase but we added three factories so we should see three steps but yes we are at a, at a higher level here but it's not as high as I, I would have expected and here with only three factories for purple signs we were above the the utility signs the yellow one uh, where we had four and now we have same number of factories uh, but it's kind of turned around so if we look at the factory we can see here uh, the the final assemblers not all are working because they do not get enough uh, furnaces and if we look at why that is it's due to a lack of uh, of steel um, so what I was thinking is maybe we could add a few more steel furnaces here I think two should do it this way and if I add the, the productivity module that's missing there as well you should see some effect and the reason why the assembler for the uh, the electric furnaces does not get enough steel it's because uh, in front of here we do have the one for um, for the rails and that one of course also requires a lot of uh, steel so if we only have a partially uh, filled belt this will have an effect there and even now we can see the belt that's that's coming in that's that's not a, a full belt so we will we will have to to see how how we manage here but it looks like with this tiny bit of improvement we managed to get all three assemblers uh, up and running and that should really have a, a positive effect uh, of course we we have to see if this is sustainable because even now we can see uh, there is not really that much steel uh, going all the way through here and Basically, what, what will happen is if we slow this down, then the, uh, the assemblers here are starved 
because there are not enough rails maybe there are enough uh, furnaces uh, otherwise there is enough rails and uh, they are not producing uh, because lack of uh, of uh, furnaces but we can see here uh, the the red belt with um, with uh, the iron that's not backlogging so that basically means yeah here we can see that the, the, the last furnaces they only occasionally uh, light up so what we can try to do is set priority uh, on this one so we get a full red belt and here we only need a bit of iron for our green circuits so uh, a partially filled yellow belt should be enough and now we can see yeah they light up a bit more so I will I will try to uh, to incorporate this with all of our setups for the purple signs and then have another look um, where we are at with the production. The production is now running more smoothly and uh, if we look at the output we can see the production and the utility are at around 370 360 pretty stable so if we want to get up to 600 per minute or uh, 10 signs per uh, per second uh, we need at least four more factories maybe five so let's also have a look at the auto sciences where they are um is that all of them um space science there we have quite a bit of, of fluctuation you can see we had a long dry spell here and I would assume let's get rid of the pollution for the auto sciences we are not really uh, producing because they are backlogged so that's that so we really have to focus on the uh, purple, the yellow, and probably space science to get those up and running. So we have um, the, uh, the needed amount um, there at the at the at our science lab. And then we should also see that the uh, auto signs are being consumed and uh, uh, where we need to tweak things. So probably until next time I will add the, uh, the missing factories for, for purple and yellow signs. So right at the start we can see where we stand and what else needs doing to get to the final goal of uh, 10 signs per second all right then have a good one goodbye